Well, hello. The last time we did one of these tours, the house was brand new. There was no furniture. Now we have so much furniture. We have some rooms that are very incomplete, but needless to say, this house is ready for Halloween. It's ready for fall. It's furnished. And yeah, let's take a look. We're gonna start this Halloween house tour in my favorite room of the house. This room is where I meditate, it's where I edit, it's where I journal, it's my favorite room in the house. It's so light and airy, and you guys love this room the moment we did our unfurnished house tour. So we use this room as like a mud room too. We put our like everyday shoes in the summer. It was filled with like sandals. Now it's like filled with boots. Put this cute little pumpkin rug here. Just have my white pumpkin. Then I have some wellness room spray. Put a little head wreath there with some tiny amethyst crystals in a sack. We have my crystals. Like I said, I love, love, love to meditate in here. I also have a salt lamp and this pumpkin spice bubble candle from Amazon. It smells so good. We have this really adorable like globe lamp that I got from Marshalls. And over here we have my little phone stand because I love to make TikToks in this room specifically. And just this cute little decoration. And over here we have my Halloween tree. Let's take a moment to appreciate this Halloween tree. Then we step foot into our kitchen. If you guys remember the empty house tour, I didn't know how I felt about this entire kitchen. Oh, by the way, here's this setup Colin made of us on the fridge. This is the Samsung fridge. But for those of you who remember the empty house tour, I didn't know how I felt about this kitchen because there was no island and it seemed a lot smaller than our older kitchen, even though the house is bigger. And you know what? I fell in love with this little square shaped kitchen and it just feels super cottagey and cozy. I got some fall decorations set up. I got some pumpkin towels. I actually have started to drink warm coffee a little bit this fall season. It was really hard to try and avoid that, but I drink decaf. I also put these cute pumpkin rugs on the ground. Over here we have Polaroids from Colin and I's engagement shoot. They're like right here before you walk into our dining room. We had no idea what this room was gonna be when we first did the tour. But after living here for a little bit, we realized that all of our friends love to gather in this room and dance to our Mamma Mia record player. And we all love to like party in here and stuff. So for now, it's like this little dining room. Colin and I have been doing a lot of wedding planning and renovation meetings in here. Um, it kind of gives off like French cafe vibes. So we went with this green vibe in here because it's super mossy outside. We love dressing up the rustic with this glam chandelier from my old closet. And we added these cute like sweepy like chiffon looking curtains. I also have another pumpkin spice bubble candle here. And we come over here and then I have the Cinderella Cottage couch. If you guys remember when I had a place in LA, I had the Cinderella Cottage. So this room kind of gives off like cottagey vibes. It's like rustic glam. We got this cute little faux hedge twisty plant thingy. It's so fun and I love this gold mirror. We actually got this gold mirror from Hobby Lobby. It was only like $48, it was like 50% off. We were gonna paint like the bottom half of these walls this green color or the color of the rug, but I think we're gonna keep it nice and airy in here. And then you get over here and we have this cupboard from the old house and we have a screwdriver. I want to wait to fill this on our wedding registry. We're going to have like china and stuff. So we'll have like nice china in here in the dining room. I got these dishes from Love A Crew on Instagram. I've been finding so much peace in looking at deer. So I really, really love this area. It makes me feel so peaceful. Gabby Martino, and this is Lessons from a Fairy Godmother. In these master classes, we go into depth about attracting fortune, getting the most out of your relationships, how to choose you, and so much more. I can't wait to see you at episode one, which is live now on my Snip Feed page. See you there. Then we enter this hallway. We have some rugs here and over here, kind of to go like 
to go like across from each other. We just have these rugs. These are temporary though for now. I wanna do like professional runners down the hallways and all the steps since the steps are super like connected and twiny. But we come over here and this is Colin and I's master bathroom. It's super simple from anything we've ever done, but it definitely captures like that Chateau Parisian vibe. I love the simplicity of this room. So over here we have our favorite picture from our engagement shoot in the gold frame. This frame's from Anthropology. Then we get down here and above the toilet, we got this cute vintage sink from the vintage market in Bethlehem. It came with like the confetti in it, but I wanted to keep it in here because it looks super like farmhousey. But I have my current fragrances in here. I have my fairy tale mist, my lotion, and then I have my vanille Chanel body oil. my pumpkin and spice skincare line. If you guys didn't know, I have my own skincare line and it's called Pumpkin and Spice. And you can use my code Gabby10 for 10% off the entire Gabby bundle. I'll have that link down below. If you guys love the smell of pumpkin spice but also want clear skin. And this shower curtain, I know I'm gonna get so many questions. It's from Anthropology as well. And then you get in here and it's just, you know, the usual. I honestly was gonna go do a glass door in here until I realized how beautiful and like shabby chic this bathroom is if we embrace the vintageness of this home. This house was built a very long time ago. So I got this cute shower curtain and I feel like it just tied the whole bathroom together. So then you get over here, and this is our master bedroom. I love the natural sunlight in here. So I got this light fixture from Homery. We painted the walls black. It's a little uneven at the top. Colin is still gonna make like a trim for the top. So this chair, the bodice, and this vintage lamp were not supposed to be in this room, but I somehow fell in love with this setup even though I'm probably gonna have to take the chair back and use it for the desk, unless I find another one. But right now we're renovating the office, which is like right next door. I'll tease it just a little bit. I'm not gonna show you guys this room fully. It's gonna be the next video on my channel, I think. Um, but anyways, I love this area because we have like this Parisian cafe picture. We have the fall and winter fashions frame on a hanger, which is also from the vintage market. And this little wreath on a shutter. And I just feel like it just ties everything together. I feel like it looks super fashion-y, so I love this corner. I don't know if I wanna get rid of it unless I move this little chair to my office because it might be a bit much, but I, I freaking love sitting areas. And then up here we have Lily's things in the plastic bags that I was telling you guys about. And then over here, I just turned it on. We have this fountain because I love falling asleep to like the sound of water. And then we have also another like room scent thing from Target. And then this is the letter, the first letter that Colin ever wrote me. Well, this was the letter that came with my roses. He sent me like a week into dating. This is the office that we're working on. You guys will see that renovation in the next video. Um, over here is the hallway that leads to our TV room downstairs that I'm gonna show you next. But I just wanna show you how beautiful this Parisian artwork is. So I wanna make this an accent wall and I wanna get like peel and stick wallpaper that look a lot like this curtain in the kitchen. I wanna put that all over this wall and then hang this picture as like an accent picture on the accent wall. We have like a lot of cameras in the house, but we haven't done like the piping yet to hide the wire. So we're gonna do the piping to match the wallpaper we put on this wall. But yeah, look how beautiful. So then we go downstairs. Can't wait till we do runners on these steps. But anyways, we did some wainscoting on this wall that we haven't painted yet. So ignore the staples. We're thinking about painting it this color called Chantilly Lace. And this is our TV room. It's so 
cozy. This is a little situation, but our cord is coming in from Amazon. It's really hard to find an extension cord with three holes. So, so I had to order it specifically from Amazon, but right now we got this multi-plug chillin'. But yeah, this is definitely the coziest room of the house. I got this irregular shaped rug from Amazon and I got this table from Homery. here and I kept this looking a bit realistic because I want you guys to see like it's not always perfect throughout the house and I'm in the middle of folding laundry this is where I fold laundry and if you guys haven't noticed this is the Nikki and Gabby couch so we film Nikki and Gabby videos here now so that's why the Nikki and Gabby signs there you guys have seen that on our channel it's like that light up Nikki and Gabby sign and then yeah we have the couch here and then we have this rug from Cala Collective and as soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna finish laundry. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So now I'm back on the main level and I'm gonna walk upstairs. I love this light fixture. But it's super windy. The staircase is like a wooden spiral staircase. So I think I wanna do board and batten along like the whole stairwell, like going up and around. This is Colin's room. I don't know if he wants to, me to show you guys because he's not done with it yet. But. Yeah, this is this side of the room. And then we get over here and we have this starling shabby chic bathroom. I got the shower curtain from Etsy. It's actually a window curtain, but I put it here. It's so cute. And then from this bathroom, we get over here. This is my sanctuary, guys. This is the skincare lounge. So right away when we get in here, you see this big love sack in the middle. I have this cute little pumpkin pillow. For now, I've just been laying in here editing. This is my new rug. This is a Monique Lulier rug, and I love it. It's from Pottery Barn. Then you get over here, and this is my designer bag closet. I did a whole video on this, how I made this designer bag closet. If you wanna check out that renovation video, you guys totally should. This is my favorite spot because I feel like I can do my makeup or get ready with friends before we go out. Um, here's more of my pumpkin and spice skincare. I just have a lot of like pajamas hanging up because this is just where I like to lounge. This robe is from Scream Queen, so I had to pull it out for the fall season and then this is the iconic Chanel Oberlin dress from the 7 Minutes in Heaven episode. But yeah, it's like a cute little nook. And like I said, I'm going to be better at covering wires. It's just kind of hectic to match it with the wallpaper. And I have more bags up here. And then I have my Chloe sneakers up here. I have super important shoes in this cabinet. This is my sweatpant closet. I have a nice candles on display because they smell so yummy. And then I have them here too. This is like my fall and winter closet. This is like my spring and summer closet. Sometimes I wear spring and summer in like fall and winter. I have a lot of shoes at the bottom of these closets. All my clothes fit in this. They go way back guys. Like look how far back these go. And then I have my Love by Fleur teddy bear. And then we get over here and we have a TV. So I love laying in here watching TV. And I have my skincare fridge with the Kylie skin stickers. And then I have like my glow tonic from Pixie. And I have cotton balls and sponges and eyeshadow applicators and Q-tips. And another bubble candle because I'm obsessed. And this candle, be humble. <laughs> I love the way this candle smells, but it's, it's honestly such a vibe in here. I feel like it's like a girly beauty bar. All right, booze, that was it for my Halloween house tour. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my office renovation video. That's probably gonna be the next vlog. It's gonna be insane. I'm literally turning it into Latteray. And if you don't believe me, stay tuned. Hit subscribe if you guys wanna see all these renovation videos and Gabooine content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog.